Shane, and today we're taking a look at what I call my mystery box. Now, if I look here, it says extra credit, build a mystery box. And here's a device right here. It says, how does this work? Mystery box. And if you notice, there's a string coming out the top and a string coming out the bottom. So what this does is if I pull down on the string, the box goes up. And if I let go, it comes back down again. So here's another version. This one also is made out of wood. Once again, it's got a string coming out the bottom, a string coming out the top. I pull it down. It goes up. Cardboard. Uh, pull on the bottom string. Up it goes. Another box that was made out of cardboard. String coming out the bottom. I pull on it and <laughs> get stuck up there a few times. Now I've had students build these boxes in all sorts of containers. Round oatmeal boxes, in PVC pipes, in all sorts of containers that they were able to fashion themselves. They've used Legos, they've used gears, they've used wheel and axles, they've used pulleys. Uh, there's about five or six different ways that these can be made. Uh, but when I do it with my class, I want it to remain hidden so they aren't revealing to their other classmates the operation of the device. So these are my mystery boxes. I'm not going to show you in this video how they operate because I still have students that are building them and turning them in for credit. But if you want more information, check in the box below this video and I will tell you how to get more information about them. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.